Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you are having a super good day. My name is Taylor and this is Coding for Tacos. Tacos. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the minimum skills that you need to start doing freelance WordPress development on Upwork. If you're someone who's at all interested in freelancing, I truly believe that the fastest path to full-time freelance is by learning WordPress. WordPress is really in demand and it's so useful, especially on a platform like Upwork. On Upwork, the largest category of job postings is in web development and software development. And within that, WordPress is the largest category. So there's really a huge demand for WordPress developers on Upwork. And there are things you can start doing now that will really benefit your freelance WordPress business or your freelance development business tomorrow. And I'm talking about networking with developers, with designers, with business owners, but also starting early. I spent nearly two years learning to code before I ever considered or even started looking for freelance work. And I wish I would have started much sooner because if you start early, you can start building a client list and more importantly, you can start getting that real world experience and gaining those skills that will allow you to be a well-paid freelancer in the future. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's figure out what those skills are that will get you paid. Now, I wanted to quickly show you my Upwork profile so you can see that I know what I'm talking about. I've been on Upwork for about a year, but really two months ago is when I really started diving in and, and getting serious about working on the platform. Before that, I was working for an agency and I decided to make a change. So now I would say about 90% of my clients are through Upwork. And you can see that uh, I have a, a good job success rating score and I've earned over 5K. Most of that in the last two months. So feel free, take a look at my profile, and if you want, even leave me a comment and let, let me know if you have suggestions for how I can make it uh, even more attractive, or uh, use this as a tool to build your own profile. Imposter syndrome is real, I know. And as a new coder, a new programmer, a web developer without a ton of experience, it's very easy to think about all the things that you can't do. But stop, don't do that. Think about the value you can provide clients because I promise you there are things you can do right now that will provide a lot of value to the clients. The clients don't care if you're a React expert. They don't care if you're using SAS or normal CSS or Bootstrap. Most of them just care that their website looks nice, they can edit it if they want to, and it's maybe they care about how fast it is or something like that. They don't care about the technology. Now on Upwork, a lot of times you have to work within certain constraints. Maybe the client has already purchased a WordPress theme, but there are a couple jobs that you can do and you can look for that even with very little experience, you will be able to deliver on and start building that client list. And I'm talking about first WordPress edits mostly design edits that will either require CSS or for you to work with a page builder. And the other is setting up a new WordPress website. I've done several, uh, several jobs where really all that was involved was installing WordPress, installing the, the WordPress theme that they chose, customizing it, you know, adding the logo, maybe changing the fonts, changing some colors, then adding their text and pictures. And that was really it. I've done several $300 to $500 jobs like that, and it's very common on Upwork. So to summarize, if you are a beginner, the two types of jobs you're looking for are WordPress design edits and setting up new WordPress sites. And there are really two basic skills that you need to learn to be able to do that and to be prepared to do that well. You need to know CSS. You don't need to be a master at CSS, but you need to know it. And you need to know the basics of WordPress. You don't need to be an expert at either one, but you should feel comfortable with the basics of both. Before really getting into WordPress, I would start with CSS. Learn the basics of CSS, learn box sizing, learn Flexbox, learn CSS Grid and Bootstrap. 
If you know the basics of those things and you can build some landing pages and things like that, you can take a design that's not too complicated and code that with HTML and CSS. Once you can do that, that's enough. After you're feeling pretty good about your CSS skills, it's time to move on to WordPress. So learn how to install WordPress, and I would really recommend learning how to install WordPress locally on your computer. I have some videos on that, so uh, I'll put the link up here and check those out if you need some help installing it. But install WordPress on your local computer, and that way you can install all kinds of different themes, and you can play around with a local WordPress site without running the risk of messing anything up. If somehow you changed some PHP or something and took the site down, no problem. Install WordPress again on your local computer and you'll be up and running again. I would recommend installing several different themes and seeing how they work because many themes are very different from one another. But one thing that will always be the same or close to the same is the WordPress dashboard. Learn where the pages are, where the posts are, where the WordPress settings are. Learn how to set a static front page and how to set up a different page for the blog posts. And just get comfortable figuring out where things are. Learn where to add custom CSS. Learn where to change things like the logo if your theme has options for that. So just get familiar with it. After that, I would recommend playing around with some common plugins that nearly all websites will need. And I'm talking about things like a contact form plugin. A lot of websites have a contact form where people can send them an email. And so I would recommend getting familiar at least with contact form 7, but there are lots of other great options out there. I would also recommend, I, I would learn how to install and set up WooCommerce. And what else? Um, I would learn how to install a Google Analytics plugin, but really just get familiar with the, the plugin options that you have out there and think about how you would build a site. Imagine that you're building a site for a local business and then think about how, what kind of things they would need on that website and figure out how to make that happen with plugins. Don't worry, at this point, you really don't need to learn any PHP. PHP is very helpful for WordPress development, but there is a lot you can do without it. After you've seen some basic plugins, then I would get used to some of the main page builders that WordPress has. And really, once you know one or two page builders, you'll be able to figure out the rest, uh, especially if you are a computer savvy person. But I think the most common page builders are Divi and Elementor. I really like working with both of them and they're very useful. All kinds of websites have them. I know at least Elementor has a free version you can play with. So learn how to use Elementor both as the theme and as an add-on for an existing theme. Learn how those work, play around with them, but once you're feeling pretty comfortable and you've, you've built several demo websites with different themes, you've gotten used to some plugins and how they work, I think you're ready. You can now set up a WordPress site. If there are some small design changes, you can make those. And at this point, you are ready to deliver a lot of value to clients who just need a basic WordPress site and maybe they need an online presence, maybe they want to sell some simple products, but you can provide that for them. You can do that, and so start looking for those jobs on Upwork and start early. If I could start over from the very beginning and, and learn to code from zero again, this is definitely the path I would take. I would have started with CSS and then learned WordPress, and I would have started looking for jobs. That way I could be making money while I was learning to code. You want to start early, start building that client list, and of course, if you have these skills, like I said, I truly believe you're ready to start doing work and you're ready to deliver a quality website. But I've said it before and I'll say it again, your business skills as a freelancer are much more important than your technical skills. So it's one thing to have the skills and it's another thing to win the job. If you're interested, leave me a comment below and I'll make another video about how to write those proposals and, and win that first gig on Upwork. But again, if you have these skills, I think you're ready. So start, start looking for work, start taking steps that will really benefit your business in the future. So network with people, look for work, 
uh, find someone who could help you if you ever got stuck and ran into problems with, with a gig. Um, but I can't stress this enough, start sooner rather than later and you'll be so glad you did. If you're still watching, thank you so much. This is Taylor again with Coding for Tacos and I hope to see you in the next video.